Hello, hi, how's it going? So in the last video, we got the ray marching working with one single sphere. And in this video, I wanna get things going with multiple spheres. Now, again, as I said in the previous video, this video is not going to go into the details of how I get the sphere data into the kernel, into the compute shader. Those details are actually covered in my web GPU series my web GPU ray tracing portion of that series. So we're not talking about how we get the data into the shader. Let's assume the data's in. We're saying, how do we apply the ray marching algorithm to achieve our goals? So we have, you know, a sphere and we have an array of spheres. So let's pretend we can index into those. Now the concept is we have a whole bunch of them. And when the ray marches forwards, we basically want to get the distance to the closest sphere. To generalize this as much as possible, I'm going to wrap this up in a function called distance to scene. And I can go right down to the bottom here and implement this function. So it says we need to write a function distance to scene. And that is going to take a pointer to array. Okay, so we'll have, as usual, a pointer in function space pointing to a ray object. And it's also going to take a sphere index. So I was trying to get a pointer to a sphere, but for some reason, possibly because it's already in global memory, I don't, for whatever reason, the shader just didn't like it. So we'll go sphere index pointer in function address space to a 32-bit integer. Now this is going to return the distance, basically the distance to the closest sphere in the scene. And as a side effect, it's also going to populate sphere index with the index of that closest distance. So what I'm going to need to do is make a closest distance. Let's fill it with a really big value and then we'll loop through. So we'll say for First thing we'll do is get the distance. So we'll say and as we can see down below, this is going to take the pointer ray, and it's going to take the sphere index, which I'll just set to i. Okay, so we get the distance to the sphere. And then I say, alrighty, no problem. If that distance is less than the closest distance, then this is where we do our thing. So we update the closest distance. Why are you saying direction? Okay, and then we update the, um, the sphere index so we dereference that pointer set its value to i and then we just keep going so then at the end of the function we return the closest distance that we got excellent so i think that's it let's just go back I haven't messed anything up have i this is a little weird ah oh, this ah oh, great okay the perfectionist in me hates that indentation okay so no problem i think we've got that function set up just fine we can go back and i'll just step through this again so we have this function called ray color we take this ray and we're trying to work out what color it should have so we basically shoot that out into the world we get the distance back and that distance is being used in the standard ray marching algorithm Again, it's the distance to the closest scene, uh, sphere in the scene. At the same time, if that distance is close enough, then we'll say, okay, yeah, we are on the surface of the sphere. So we'll say, okay. And then that should be it. That should be all we need. So let's test that. It's not a good sign. Okay, so I think this comparison here is a little not working. We should be able to just cast that back. There we have it. Okay, cool. So we have our scene and we have multiple spheres. Now, our solution is very elegant and just like all elegant things, it's also low efficiency. Plus my laptop was sitting in the sun while I was recording that, which is why it is currently overheating. Um, so yeah, there we have it. Let me just, let me just exit that. Okay, so again, we've got a scene. 
with multiple spheres, but um, what we're going to have to do now is apply some sort of acceleration structure. So that'll be the topic of the next video. I'll see you next week. We'll make some acceleration structures. All right, bye.